Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This is the chicken cooker and you might be thinking Asuma I've seen something just like this on your channel before. You'd be right however this design has been compacted slightly and it also has been adjusted to work with entity cramming which we'll come back to in a moment. First of all I'd like to show you how this farm works. It is automatic, lossless and compact, very simple to build. We keep all of the chickens in a coop at the back here. They will lay eggs which will go into this dispenser here at the bottom where the eggs collect. They can then be hatched onto this half slab which means that the baby chickens will stand underneath the lava that is also um, just above it. So when they grow into an adult they will then be cooked by that lava and none of the drops will be destroyed like this one will demonstrate to us those drops will fall on the half slab and get picked up by the hopper below and go into the chest which is just wonderful. So in this world we have two designs the one on the right over here is free wide the one on the left is four wide that's because we have this daylight sensor sticking out to the side unfortunately you can't put it on the other side unless you choose to use an observer block to relay the update from this over to this redstone torch we'll talk about that again in just a moment let's focus on the area where the chickens are this design is also slightly different from that one as the dispenser can be put on this side it can be activated by this redstone which means that you could have it continuously put more chickens into this chamber as the day goes on now what I'm going to do right now is is stand here and look in that direction so we're only looking at these chickens I'm pressing F3 you can see that there are 69 of them in this space right here this means we are bypassing the entity cramming rule if I do the same thing over on this side so we only look at these chickens uh, we have 72 so it can be bypassed using a ladder however I'll go over that in more detail in just a moment now this contraption will activate 39 times throughout the day it'll do it more frequently when the Sun is like level with the horizon and that's because we are using these daylight sensors to update a redstone torch that has been burned out so you can see it's currently off meaning if it gets an update then it's going to activate again that will activate this dispenser if it's attached with the redstone like so it will also set off the lava cooker and the egg dispatcher at the front there and that's how the whole contraption is automated before we start the tutorial I need to say a big thank you to my friend Rocky Avalon who shared this concept with me it's a really clever way of compacting the old farm that we used to use and the trick is this little bit of redstone right here with the burnout torch which I showed in a recent episode of Hermitcraft. Rocky then had the idea to apply it to the chicken cooker which has made it much more compact and I really like the way that it activates itself throughout the day using these daylight sensors. Now let's talk about the entity cramming rule again. This can be very finicky to get working correctly. If you put a ladder or a vine on the inside here and bear in mind if you do a vine you'll need to have a solid block block above the vine due to a bug it allows you to have more entities in that space now when you put these chickens in here using spawning eggs which you can find in the creative menu it has no problems whatsoever when you do it with regular eggs there is a lot of loss a lot of chickens will die but eventually you'll be able to go over the 24 mob limit so if you want to run a load of eggs into here you'll see that some of the chickens in here will actually die during the process but slowly over time you can get their numbers up and since this thing you know provides eggs for free it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to do so and with that being said more chickens means more eggs however this thing is activated 39 times a day 70 seems to be a really reasonable number to keep on top of the amount of eggs that are here however if you wanted to dispense even more then you'd need to attach a clock of some sort to update this redstone torch so that this thing would activate more frequently it's time now to start the tutorial you will need an area of land that is four or three blocks wide six blocks deep and four blocks tall the things you need to build it are inside of this chest so you can pause the video and gather those materials these do not need to be quartz blocks and those do not need to be glass blocks that's just the way that I built the farm over there we also have an observer block down here and that's an additional requirement if you'd like to change the footprint from four wide to three wide you're going to need an observer block so let's start the block by block building process remember if ever I'm too fast for you you can always slow down the video using YouTube anyway this chest at the front is where our cooked chicken and feathers are gonna go we need a hopper facing into that with a slab on top of it behind it two dispensers facing forward the bottom one needs a hopper pointing into it and then on either side 
of this we're going to have a dispenser facing inwards. Now this side over here means that it will get automatically activated by the redstone. The one on this side means that you activate it manually. You only need one of those and in front of it you want a ladder and around that ladder on all sides we're going to place glass. Then down at the front here we need some more glass around the sides of the slab and above those glass pieces as well. And now for the redstone we want a full block here and below it over to the side we put a half slab although that could be a full block it doesn't really matter and then two blocks in those spaces so once you've got that shape you can put your redstone torch here a piece of redstone behind it redstone on top of this block and then a repeater from the torch to the block over here then you put a daylight sensor below it and a daylight sensor to the side and make sure one of these is inverted now if you don't want this one over to the side what you want to do is place it all the way over here and then just put an observer block from this side facing into it so you can see the output is here and it does the detecting on that side so we're almost done we need to remember though to put a lava bucket in the dispenser at the front here and then we need to hatch some chickens as well so you can put some eggs into this dispenser and an easy way to activate it is with a lever just hold down right click and that will shoot the eggs out now if you're doing this automatically because you put the dispenser on the other side then you can simply hook that up to a hopper and have a chest full of eggs feeding into it so that's it from me this minecraft tutorial if you've enjoyed the video found it useful please do leave a like it supports the channel as always thank you for your support and check out the tutorials playlist as well we have done over 280 tutorials on this channel which is absolutely crazy there is also a world download available for you in the description box if you need it but otherwise that's it from me thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye